following is an audio excerpt from Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, by John Abdo. Unpredictability. Our physical conditioning was at once diverse, increasingly progressive, and cyclic. The principle was straightforward. Through the induction of various burdens executed through consistent frequency, the body progressively adapts, rendering previous stressors manageable. Hence Milo consistently carrying a maturing pull. After six weeks of adjusting to the incrementally advancing weights, along with our running, throwing, climbing, and wrestling drills, we began the next phase of our training. Now removed from the palustra, Geopinon had the implements interspersed across the fresh topography, and unlike our previous cycle, the placement of these implements were on uneven terrain. Some were spaced within close proximity to one another, the better to burden our raw power with brief yet overloaded exertions, while others were to be transported across expansive distances, so as to condition our capacity to endure loads for lengthy durations. We also encountered the objects wedged between tree branches, tossed onto mounds and rock ledges, into thickets and tall reeds, or submerged in water, mud, or clay. Meanwhile, Many of the objects had been placed inside animal enclosures, including the bullpens, challenging us to conduct the exercise while in the pursuit of an angry animal. And speaking of bullpens, after graduating from goats, sheep, and swine, Philostratus and Geopinon also had us lifting and wrestling with calves, with the aim of knocking them off their hooves or grapple them to the ground. And although Milo was the only athlete on our team, or more accurately to say, in the world, who could handle full-grown bulls, our conditioning had earned many of the members on our team the strength to manhandle bulls up to nine months in age, while Lysinos was capable of lifting and tackling bulls between the ages of 12 to 15 months. Needless to say, there was no predictability to this phase of training. Every drill was unorthodox, making it as much a mental burden as it was a physical one, yet one which ultimately transformed muscle confusion into sensory domination. As the weeks progressed, we became habituated to the psychophysiological adaptations instigated through the consistent burdens. Concurrently, compounding cellular memories stored throughout our brain muscle matrices gained us the ability to summon an exactitude of force. For example, Milo sensing the badger clenched onto Correggio's pastern. In time, we all learned to instinctively initiate, align, and adjust our exertions as we lifted, crawled, walked, ran, jumped, climbed, and swam from station to station. If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo a Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.